Inktober, day eight, hike. The closest I get to hiking at the moment is going to and from the office twice a week. If you've ever visited Edinburgh, you know it is very hilly. Lots of little alleyways and steps. Edinburgh is built on many layers, and when you are walking about, you really feel it. I love the team I work with because it's mostly all ladies, and we have a complete blast. You know when people make you cry laughing till your mascara runs down your face? It's that level of fabulous. But I wish I didn't work in finance and get paid a fortune, because unfortunately, my love of money prevents me from realising my dream, which is to be an artist on the Isle of Skye in a tiny little croft in the middle of nowhere. I could hike up hills and mountains every day and sketch and draw. I'd probably have to hike to the corner shop for my tea bags. Oh, it would be marvellous. I dream of living on the Isle of Skye so often that I did a giant oil painting of it for my own living room wall. That massive painting is a reminder for when I get home from the office and want to put my feet up and do nothing that there is another life for me and I still need to continue to draw hard in the evenings to achieve it. Sometimes when I'm sitting on the bus off to work, I dream and think, when I move to the Isle of Skye, like, life is going to be sweet. Sometimes I think, oh, I could be a successful content creator and invite my fellow artists to stay and drink tea and sketch the mountains. I think about what I'd need in my studio, which would obviously be just a converted shed or a garage or an outhouse. I think about having a wall in my kitchen, which has beautiful oak shelves, perfectly sized for my collection of 20-odd teacups and saucers. I imagine having a pagoda so I can sit out in the rain and enjoy the sound of storms. I've read of the top ten skywalks, and I've watched other people hiking them on YouTube. The hike to the fairy pools takes about 40 minutes to an hour from the road. There are many paths to take, and the mountains there are dark and ominous, and poets and artists have visited to be amazed by the drastic views. The funny thing is, I dream of a life on the Isle of Skye, but I haven't even visited it yet. Every year I have it on my to-do list, but then I spend every weekend drawing and never leave the house instead. Sometimes I just have to make do with going on a hike to the local charity shop to buy more cups for my imaginary future.